in the comment section below, I want you to leave the hardest set you've ever done during Christmas training. Don't make anything up, but leave it right down there. We'll talk about it. See that? It's how you engage your audience, boys. Good morning, everybody, and Merry, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Whew, it's a beautiful time in the year. Zero percent of Cody wanted to get out of bed this morning. Zero percent of me wanted to put on these clothes, get in this car, and drive to the pool, but you know what? That's what we're gonna do. I might feel like crap, but there's no excuse. And it's the holiday season, so let's just, let's just be happy, you know? Look at all that teamwork. Almost totally done. Part of the ship, part of the crew. Gotta help with lane lines. It's one of those things nobody wants to do, but you just have to, you know? You have three cameras on today. Bro, professional vlogging, okay? When I was in high school, we used to do a hell week during Christmas training, where we would do every day a different, hor a different horrible set. We did a mile butterfly, we did 100 100s, we did 10 400 IMs. Um, one year we did 20 400s freestyle. This D week we're gonna make Laura put in the lane line. <laughs> 60 100s when I was eight. When you were eight? Yep. Were they like short interval? They were for me. <laughs> <laughs> we would do every high school event off the blocks. You were on training trip in high school? No, we went to the NAT for two days. The NAT? Hey, that's yeah. a nice training trip right there. Did you hear some of my times? Did they tell you any? Dude, I was beating him in one of the red sets we did, like, that pretty first, aggressively. That was my first day. Pretty bad. <laughs> yeah? It got better as it went on, though. Did it, though? 100-100s on 105 from midnight to 3 a.m. during a 24-hour first practice. You what? did that? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty during cool. 24 what? That's cool. 24-hour practice, we would have it during Christmas oh. break where we would stay at the pool for 24 hours and get, like, five or six practices in. And the hardest practice was from midnight to 3 a.m. 100 100 midnight now. to 3 a.m.? That's so that. cool. You can't top that. That's that's like borderline abusive. We did 10 1000s, but they weren't, they weren't that hard like physically because you had like so long to do them. There was like, I don't know, it's like a three hour practice. <laughs> and like the only rules were no pushing off the bottom, no stopping within the 1000. Blake was on quarantine for about two weeks because he was in very close contact with someone who caught the Rona. So he's a bit out of shape, which is why I'm gonna beat him down in this practice. Here he goes. And here we go. I made it, I made the interval. Be proud of me. In high school we used to do this workout where we would build up from a 50 fly to a 400 IM. So you do a 50 fly on the first round, then you, on the second round you go 50 fly, 100 fly. Oh. On the third round you go 50 fly, 100 fly, 50 150, back. 100 fly, 50 back. So you would, it was basically a pyramid from a 50 all the way to a 400. Yes. Oh, we did an 8,000 IM once. Oh. Yeah, and it was, but it was a pyramid. It was like 100 IM, 200 IM, 300 IM, 400 IM, 500 IM, like all the way up. Uh -huh. And my coach like wrote it on a whiteboard, and I remember. Like right into the 8,000, I got like a really bad Charlie horse. Like I, I, cr I cramped up like really bad. And I thought I was gonna die. And I was like, Ron, let me out, please. And he looked at me dead in the face. I tell this story when I'm trying to be like motivational. <laughs> he looked at me and he was like, figure it out, find a way. And I felt super desperate and like just utter despair. Yeah, but then like 200 yards later, I was fine. You know, like it loosened up. Cause I was like ready to quit. 
but he just was like, nope, you're not allowed, nope, I'm not allowed on that. Sometimes feeling helpless, feeling desperate, feeling like there's no other way has value and is good. And that's one thing that I love about our sport of swimming is that it puts us in uncomfortable positions. It challenges us both physically, but specifically mentally. Master has given Dobby a sock. Master has presented Dobby with clothes. <laughs> Dobby is free. <laughs> Dobby's spinning and touching knife. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad! We should have a Dobby the house elf party. Just a house elf party. And just wear pillowcases. And just wear, <laughs> just wear pillowcases and we all have to and talk like house elves. Creature! Creature! Filthy mud blood! <laughs> ah. Parachutes? Well, we've already done like 5,000. And basically, it's your nephew's side. Come on! No, no, no! We're good to go! No. Don't he explain no, the set! He doesn't need. Is he gonna explain the set? Yeah. Wow. See, that's how you cheat your way into getting more rest. 850s, 650s, 450s, 250s. That's not word for word. That's what the set is! Aha! I just rocked you. Everyone just rocked you. Everyone parachutes a squat clothes. <laughs> Sorry, Cody's just better yeah. than bike freestyle now. Yeah, long course yeah. ball. <laughs> oh! Ah! Sit on! No. Sit on! I knew it! Oh, it's I, he started too early. I saw him take off and I was like, no! <laughs> God, we have so many more 50s. Pretty good. Yeah. You should have seen me last week. Oh yeah, you should have seen him drowning. Be for the rest of the week. Oh man. This is gonna be a... my like heart rate. It's like my arms just go so weak and then I like can't even pull. We're going long course all Go week long Frank for Mantis Christmas ago. training. Gonna be great. So I have two Christmas trees in my living room and one of the most satisfying feelings I have during the day is when I get home from practice and I light those suckers up, uh. I plug them in. She good while I was gone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he slept pretty well last night. Good boy. Sometimes he like really aggressively sucks on my thing. <laughs> yeah. It's a baby Bjorn. Baby Bjorn. Bjorn. However, you, it's foreign. However you say it, I'm gonna put him in his Bjorn. Oh, he just smiled. <laughs> well, everybody, as always, make sure you're following me on social media, at Swim Miller on Twitter and at Cody Miller on Instagram. We have merch on the merch store. If you're interested, a lot of new stuff, check that out. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share my videos with your friends. That really helps me. Yeah, I know. Being a baby's a hard life. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you're celebrating. I hope it's a good time. 2020 is about to be in the history books and next year, 2021, is going to be a better year. You good little guy? And until my next video, I will see you guys next year. Sleigh bells ringing.